Well, it's Saturday the 7th. Not a very nice day. Hey, it's the Wimbledon coming up. It's absolute horrible weather. Chucking it down with rain. But uh, lots done this week. Thanks to uh, my stepdaughter, uh, Georgia. She has worked tirelessly this week. So I'm back on track. There's so much to do. Now, um, I'm going to switch you around. Oh, you can't do it, can you? Doesn't matter. I'll switch you around. Had a few yellow leaves when I potted these on this um, when I got them from work. And they've responded lovely. Absolutely lovely. In a few days. Peas are done in the Three Sisters. I'll show you that in a minute. But I've potted on this morning me uh, me wa me uh, watermelons, the Elbert, is it? A mere F1. It's like a honeydew melon. So that's going to go in a couple of weeks. I put them in a pint uh, pint pot and transferred them. So they'll come on now, next couple of weeks. And then I'm, I'm going to put them in the bed. <sighs> Let's have a look around. I've got to do some baskets today. I've got seven more baskets to do. Like I said, I've got to get these out. Again, it's going to be petunias and uh, busy lizzies. Very important. It's all I've told by that she's tidied everything up. All the uh, um, trays and everything. You know, keep them for next year. <laughs> I'm not chucking them. Like I say, you spend enough money on them. Even the cheap ones, you know. You just take your time, you know, and don't break them. And when you're taking your plants out, we'll, uh, we'll be all right for, you know, next year. Loads of uh, geranium still. But what I've done, like I say, I've, I'm clearing this shelf. And I'm, uh, she's potted on all, all my herbs and uh, we've got some lilies in, in there. I've got some, uh, what's this, some peppers, candy, candy canes. We've potted on. The sweet peppers as well. So yeah, lots to be going on with. But today, um, I'll show you what I've done outside. It's absolute chucking it down. <laughs> okay. Well, <laughs> not even touch this lettuce. And look at it. Absolutely. This is iceberg lettuce. And the multi sown um, spring onions, Lisbon variety. Well, hopefully, when the rain stops, I can get my tomatoes in. I've got my steaks, beetroot, and some more iceberg lettuce. Like I said, I've got me so many tomatoes there, but these will come. I've got my pot leeks. And as you can see, I've got peas now in with the sweet corn. And if you uh, remember when I put these sweet corn in like three weekends ago, it was quite windy and I was really worried. And I put some stakes in, the ones that were damaged, you know, and just bent over. And here, and here they are. They've come on absolutely leaps and bounds. They're not uh, bending over now, they've got strength in them. And everyone has got peas around. And take it from here. So they're coming on lovely. Ooh. Bloody chucking it down. 
I'm loving this, like I said previously. Look at these, all splitting off. That's my shallots. They had my multi sown shallots as well, coming on great. Done a little bit of hoeing this morning. Okay, I've put my cabbages and uh, broccoli in, and I've got my piping. But like I say, it's absolute chucking it down. I can't get it on yet. This is what Georgie did. She put the multi sown leeks in, and she didn't want to tread on my bed, so she's left the gap there. And then I'm just doing single leeks in there. I'm gonna just put them down there. I've got my Torton Dean Kale. And I've got my mini bells. What's these? Sorry. Uh, yellow pear, cherry bell. Yellow pear, cherry bell. My strawberries. I'm gonna wet through here, videoing for you. <laughs> I've got my strawberries there, oh yes, and I've got a, I've got one of them coming off, so I can, uh, I'm going to take uh, that for next year, and have a look here, oh, a few strawberries on there, going to need some hoeing to do in here, this is my collie, coming on great. My carrots, look at my uh, potatoes. I got my, uh, my courgettes in, and also 11 buckets of uh, 13 buckets. Yeah, 13 buckets of spuds. Right, I'm going back in here, it's absolute chucking it down. Oh. Right, let's crack on with doing hanging baskets. Now if you've, you've been following me from the start, you'll know about this bed. But I've got a lot of new subscribers, <coughs> excuse me, in the last two weeks. Now this bed is specifically for me tomatoes, and it's full of weed. When I first did this, okay, I chucked uh, all the uh, weeds and everything in, in the bottom of this raised bed covered it up and I've put uh, horse manure on top and two bags of a hundred litres compacted compost on top put that black cover weed cover over it and now there's no weeds there so I've, I've done no digging and literally it was full of weeds so I've done no digging maybe about three months ago I, I did all this so now I'm ready for my tomatoes to go in and like I said it's an experiment in this bed full of weeds this was and the, the soil now underneath wow so, I'm going to put them in and see how it goes. Okay, I've got eight in. And I've got marigolds in and around. Like I said, I've been so busy. Neglected me tomatoes, to be honest. And uh, I've salvaged about four different varieties. This one, Roma. This one I got off Jane. This is a black Russian. And I've got two lots of beef steaks in here. I like the old beef steaks. Oh no, it's the hillbillies. Beef steak and hillbilly. These two. Still undecided of uh, what I'm going to do after. And the lettuce is done but yeah I think that's enough to be getting on with right let's crack on I've just harvested one of my uh, lettuces it's a bit hard to do with one hand but all I do just cut through Uh, 
and at the bottom there, just take off any of the leaves. So two leaves out of the lot. What a lovely lettuce that is. It's an iceberg. Take you around to where I've brought it from. Let's pull it out at the back here and just look at the rest. Well, happy with that. Well, happy. Let's put this down here. Just gives you a A visual. Good morning. It's Sunday the 9th. I said it was Saturday the 7th yesterday. Get my dates mixed up. No, Sunday the 9th now of June. Okay. So, it's been a pretty quiet morning. Got my grass. But what I am doing now, I've got a little bit more time on my hand. I've, uh, just doing a, <coughs> a cover from my brassica beds. Now I did, I did one there. I didn't, I didn't like it to be honest, but it's doing its job. But now, better advice of people. And uh, we got some tubing from uh, school fit. And now uh, I'm on to the last one. And secure it just some tool before timber on top of it just to secure it yeah. and all I'm doing a couple of two and a half uh, decking screws this is the last one and straight to the throat pipe okay so that's it I'm gonna get a bit of stability and what I've done in the bottom, I've got these. <coughs> There's some of these couplings and it ties it onto the bed. It's very basic. And uh, I'm going to put my, uh, my netting over. I'll show you how I'm going to attach my netting. Okay. Right, it's done. I'm happy with that. I forgot I had this type of netting. So yeah, that's my brassicas uh, covered. Making sure no butterflies get in. And I've still got plenty of tubing left. Ah oh dear, yeah. So, the tidying up to do the watering. My old bed's coming on good. Oh well, yeah, I'm happy with that. Fantastic. So what I've done to attach the netting, I've got a piece of tubing, yeah. And what I've done, I've cut it. You know, I probably took a quarter out. And what you do then is you just clip it over and it secures it. You don't have to do every one. But uh, just secures it. And at the bottom there, I've just pinned it with a nail. Not, uh, not put it all the way in. Because I want to lift it and just... Uh, not put it all the way in the nail yet and then just bent it over so when I want to lift it you know it's just a matter of just um, prying the nail a bit and then lifting it to uh, lifting it up so I can get to do any, any weeding so yeah we're happy right let's do some more baskets <laughs> 